In this episode, we cross the infamous Mona Passage and have some of our most difficult easting along the south coast of Puerto Rico. Somebody is on dolphin patrol. There were a few dolphins, but I guess they disappeared before we could get up there. Still looking for whales. We had a three day weather window of five to six foot seas across the Mona that allowed us to cut straight across and not go south around Mona Island. This reduced our exposure in the passage and also kept us north of the thunderstorms that usually roll off from Puerto Rico every evening. As much as we prefer sailing over motoring, the roughly 350 miles from Luperon to Vieques represents some of the most hazardous waters that we'll face. So when you get a window, you put the throttle down and you get across. So when we prepped for the Mona, uh, this is not what we were expecting. Even with our fantastic weather window, who would have thought that it would really be this fantastic? So we're gonna keep chugging east. Um, we're gonna keep going to Ponce. That's Bocaron over there somewhere. And uh, we're gonna keep going around this corner. Head east as long as it's comfortable, hopefully all the way to Ponce where we can provision. And then head to the Spanish Virgins. This is pretty exciting, man. We have gotten here 10 hours sooner than expected. Great. Just goes to show you gotta wait for weather. Of course, the front that's coming in after this looks pretty nasty, but that's what happens with weather. Say that again? So we just came on to the shallow array ledge. 60 feet deep here. This is crazy. anchor down in Ponce and we could not have hoped for a better passage from the Dominican Republic to Puerto Rico. From Puerto Rico all the way to the Lesser Antilles we would see hurricane damage from last season. Although Puerto Rico was mostly up and running, crews from the Midwest were scattered across the island repairing the grid. Moments after we shot this clip, a three-foot tarpon welcomed us to Ponce by jumping in the dinghy. It took hours to clean out all the slime. The boardwalk for this waterfront hotspot was still out of commission and several boats were still sunk in the harbor. But most of the restaurants and bars were open and things were starting to come to life again. Here's the second anchorage in Ponce. Back here is a bunch of debris. And over there, there's, over there, there's more debris, hurricane piles. <coughs> then we have the port where there are uh, a giant uh, boat full of power trucks where people are still coming in from the states. We've seen a lot of um, giant groups of linemen from Oklahoma and some other states. It's cool to see here people here still putting it all back together. 
but this is the second largest city and it's still not fully up and running but it's pretty awesome definitely cruisable there's the anchor hey starfish good morning from Ponce we are off to Coffin Island it's been really cool here um, second biggest city we were able to provision and meet with a friend and hang out with some boats we're traveling with and now we're off to explore a little bit more it's really calm so we'll have to motor some of it but we also get to fish so we're pretty excited There's the lighthouse. The path seems to have ended. It's just basically overgrown. So hey, there's the lighthouse on Coffin Island. How you doing, Molly? I don't think she's impressed. No, she's hot. She's a hot dog. She's a hot dog. All right, back through the cacti, prickly pear, thorn path. Really pretty though. Molly, go back. You're out of the shot, Moo. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Yeah, we're cleated off to a stone, an exposed stone in the dock. But it worked just fine with the stern anchor. In Salinas, we saw much of the same. Most of the bars and restaurants were up and running, still had some downships in the harbor, but all in all, things were coming back together. During the passage from Salinas to Vieques, the north shore of Puerto Rico was getting pounded by 20-foot surf. The south coast, on the other hand, was flat as a pancake and actually had some winds blowing out of the west. Jib sailing off of the Vegas. Hard, hard work. I don't know how we do it. Go get him, Molly. What's he doing? Picking up trash. The beach donated the bag. The least we can do is fill it up. Just giving a little bit back to vehicles. Locals told us that before the storm, this beach was lined in palm trees and that only one in 10 survived. Coming into Calabria. Pretty excited to be here. 